Hey y'all, <clears throat> I just uh, finished bending this camera and I figured I'd do a little demo and uh, try to demystify some of the work um, since when I was starting there was really nobody that had uh, given out any of the secrets which is stupid I think. Um, I believe the sensor is a Sony ICX058CK. Um, before you start working on these things, at least try to figure out what the pinout is, uh, and this one matches that. Um, but yeah, you don't want to tinker around and blow something up because you have the wrong pinout. Anyways, uh, I only had switches left, so I have um, 10 bends on 5 on-off on switches. Um, lighten up Dr. Demento here. And uh, yeah, let's go through some of these and I'll tell you what pins are shorted to what. And if you're tinkering with one of these things uh, on your own, um, you can at least have a little bit of a roadmap. This first switch here we have nice yellow shift. Um, these all obviously behave different under different lighting situations. Uh, right here we are shorting the first and second vertical clocks. And if we dial the iris back, we get some of that classic melty stuff. Um, there's a few of these switches with this effect, and uh, stacking them up can be really cool. Um, the other side of this is one of those nice melty settings. This is the first vertical clock and the second horizontal clock shorted. Next switch. Nice abstract black and white situation going on. Um, we are shorting ground and the second horizontal clock. And then a pr more intense melty setting. Um, second horizontal clock and second vertical clock are being shorted here. Um, these can get really crazy, super psychedelic, but I kept all of these um, pretty tame so you can stack them a little better and we can get some really crazy stuff going on um, just with those two up here classic purple green shift that is um, the third and fourth vertical clock shorted together um, if you mess around with some of these switches it will crash the camera and you have to unplug it um, the third and fourth vertical clock seem to be the only ones you really have to watch out for in that respect and um, you know I haven't killed a clock yet it's just a pain in the ass um, almost like a Lumia-esque um, vertical abstraction there that is um, the third vertical clock and ground being shorted moving to the other side kind of intermediate melty setting oh man look at that so these are, I believe, yeah, those two melty settings together. There's a ton of options. Um, what are we shorting here? That is um, <clears throat> the first horizontal clock and the first vertical clock. And on the other side, um, kind of a washed out black and white inversion. That's pretty cool to stack up with other stuff too. Let's see if we can find a cool one. This is um, the reset gate in the first horizontal clock shorted. And here we have uh, another cool kind of horizontal blur. And if we dial it back, you can kind of like make out the original, the original image. Mess around. Oh yeah, look at that. That's killer. Um, and on the other side of that is this kind of finicky one. Sometimes it works really good. Sometimes it doesn't. That probably has to do, there's probably automatic gain control or something, but it kind of is a saturation effect. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but this is a fun one to stack up to. I get these like gnarly contrasted washed out. Yeah, that's cool. Really nice. Um, I don't think I told you what I was doing for this one. Um, so for this horizontal wash, that is um, the second and first horizontal clocks shorted together in the saturation. Even just dialing the iris out on that saturation effect is killer. Um, get it back. Uh, 
The saturation effect is the reset gate in the second horizontal clock. Shorted together. Um, so that's this device. Um, I do have a table that I made with all of the possible effects and uh, what, you know, which bends crash the thing and which don't do anything. Um, if you're working on a device like this, oh man, look at that. And, um, you know, and you want to have some of that information, just uh, leave me a comment below and I'll figure out a way to um, get that to you. Otherwise, um, hopefully this was helpful and uh, happy bending out there. Take her easy.